tell you this. Maybe we need to reach a level whereby when we want to, we want something. We don't just get it anyhow. When we want something. Everybody wants something. Everybody wants money. Everybody wants a car, house, whatever. When someone, I remember the brother was giving me a car, I said, no, 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 I don't want your car. Because there are some things after you have received it, you have lost many. You will lose many. I just remember I went to the crusade when I was there. Everything was promising. And I heard God say, don't take this money. If you reach a level where God tells you, don't take this money. You want money, isn't it? And God said, don't take this money. And you obey him. I mean, you are hearing a voice telling you, do not take this money. And you say, I've got needs, I've got that. Automatically, what God wants to promise, what to give you will never come. I don't know if you're hearing me. If we reach a level whereby something like a blessing, when it comes our way, and we say, I need to hear God about this first. I need to hear God about this. Okay, you've got friends who are giving you favor. You say, I need to understand why I have friends of this caliber. Because you might be disobeying God by having those friends. Maybe you need friends who are poor so that you feed them. I don't know if you're hearing me. You, 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 need, you need to look at yourself today and say, God, I want to obey you. I don't want to disobey you. But if I go with the people of my caliber, always I will try to maintain my state. That's the problem today. We are trying to maintain our life. You are trying to maintain your state of your life. And this makes you to disobey God. If God said to give the house, will you? Because you are trying to maintain. If God said, go and make crusade in the village, will you? You know, in the village, there's nothing. I mean, look what happened to, to Philip. What will happen if Philip might have continued with the crusade in Samaria? That witch will attack him. I don't know if you're hearing me. That witch will really attack him. But after that, he said, hey, I think now I've done my job here. Okay, let me call Peter and John. He said, Peter, please, people of Samaria, they've accepted Jesus. Please come and take over. My job is finished here. You won't fight anyone when you know what to do. And they came, they found that there's this one, the Sosara. Himself, he could not descend the Sosara. The Bible says, he was saved and become part of the convenience of converts. He was part of his congregate. But now, when he hear, no, 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 this, he have to move. Holy Spirit say, hey, go to the desert. How, how can I leave the church? How can I leave my big church and go to one person who's going to Ethiopia? This is my church, my own church. Today, we are trying to maintain our state. And this makes us to disobey God. We are becoming protective. We are defending ourselves. And God is leaving us in our power. He's leaving us in our power. We can ask God, all of us today, to, for God to guide us. Lift up your hands. Ask God to guide you, to speak with you, to instruct you, and tell him, I want to obey you. Prayer. 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 At Carvo Ori Messi Ask God. Oh Oh 
Jesus name. Amen. Keep watching Charis TV.